Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export your composite shots, your editor timelines, your footage, your whatever you've made inside of HitFilm out of HitFilm so that then you can upload it onto YouTube, share it with your friends, do whatever you want with it. This will apply for HitFilm Express version 14 and also HitFilm Pro version 14 as the process is exactly the same. So let's get on with this tutorial. As you can see I have got a composite shot with some text that says subscribe. I think you should go and do that. That's a really, really smart idea. Please. Anyway, this is a composite shot that just has some text in it. This could contain whatever you want it to. The process is the same, whether or not you've got text, whether you've got full movie-ness, whether you've just got a couple of media files, some pictures, some animated-ness stuff. So anyway, what you want to do is go down to this corner on the top of the timeline. As you can see there is an export button. If you click on the export button it will bring up a file explorer and then you can select where you want to save your files and then rename them. And then it will open up a new panel. As you can see this automatically starts the export process. Pressing this export button in the bottom corner will only export what is inside of the in and out points of your timeline. These are the in and out points. You can also set these by pressing I and O. If you don't want it to only export the in and out points, you can press this button with the arrow pointing into the lines and it will bring up some more export settings. As you can see you have one that says export now and you can export the in to out area or the contents. This will immediately start the export as soon as you press one of these. You also have add to queue which will allow you to add the in to out area and the contents. If you select this it will allow you to change the file name and the file path as to where it's going to be saved and it will also allow you to change more of your settings. So if I just select add to queue contents it will take you to the new export panel. If you select the output which is underlined here it will bring up another file explorer menu in which you can name it whatever you want and then press save. This will not start the export process unless you press the start exporting button. If you want to remove something from your export panel then there are three lines next to the start exporting panel. If you select this you have some more options as to what you can do. You can then select remove tasks. This will bring up another window and then select yes because this is to check that you want to remove that task from the panel. You can also drag and drop files from the media panel or the timeline into the export window and that will also add them to the export queue. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did then please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions then please leave them in the comments below and I will try to respond to you as fast as I can. See you next time. Goodbye.